Well, good evening and welcome to the Fall Vocal Music Concert 2024. Uh, thank you for spending your evening here with us. Uh, we've got lots of great music in store for you tonight. And we're going to start it off with a word of prayer and then we'll jump right into things. So just bow your head in prayer with me. Father in heaven, we come before you with humble hearts, grateful for all the blessings that you give to us each and every day. And we don't mean that in any cliche kind of way. There's so many things to be thankful for. And we just take a moment and pause in the busyness of life to say thank you. Thanks for our gift and gifts and talents, Lord, and what you've given these students to share tonight. Uh, sing through them. And again, I pray you'd calm any nerves they may have that would uh, hinder their performance, that they could sing with joy and with peace in their heart. Um, keep us safe as we travel home tonight as well. But bless our time here now, and may you be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, my name is Charlie Shambari. I'm a sophomore, and it is my first year as a choir student at Valley Christian. Our first selection this evening is Peace Like a River, arranged by Joel Rainey. This song is a familiar and traditional spiritual and also incorporates the classic hymn, Amazing Grace, in a unique and tasteful way. It also features four hands at the piano, which is performed by student Logan Kim and our amazing accompanist, Mrs. Kim. We hope you enjoy Peace Like a River.
career composer Alex Stein. He sang in the choir, Kate Colson, and Dee Brown later played the organ and composed for church Although he became deaf later in life, he still performed the composing music. This song has a special meaningful arrangement, which is called a canyon. A musical performer plays the best of the rock. I hope you enjoy it. Patton, and I'm in the 11th grade. It is my first year as a choir student at Valley Christian. Our final piece was originally written by Paul McCartney. This arrangement is adapted from the film Joyful Noise and was created by Mac Huff. This song features three soloists, Henry Shambari, Faith Martin, and Mia Stroman. We'll be accompanied by guitarist Christian Wunderlich, bassist Federico Orlandini, drummer Kale Giacello, along with our amazing piano accompanist, Mrs. Kim. This is Maybe I'm Amazed. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you love me all the time. Maybe I'm afraid of the way I love you Maybe I'm amazed at the way you pulled me out of time You hung me on a line Maybe I'm amazed 
at the way I really need you Maybe I'm a girl, maybe I'm a lonely girl Who's in the middle of something That she doesn't really understand Next in our program, uh, we have a duet. This is going to be C.C. Miller and Lauren Simpson, accompanied by yours truly, Mr. Dan Davis. It's doing uh, Oceans and You Make Me Brave.
How about a hand for our women's ensemble? Hi, my name is Carly Michelle Smart. I'm in ninth grade, and it's my first year at choir at Valley. Adastra is a song written by Jacob Narverud, an American composer, conductor, and pianist. Narverud is also founding artistic director of the Tallgrass Chamber Choir. He wrote Adastra using the Latin, the Latin phrase Adastra Prospera, meaning through hardships to the stars. I like Adastra because it is a beautiful song with a gorgeous piano arrangement, and the voice parts complement each other very well. I hope you enjoy Ad Astra by Jacob Narbred. My name is Zoe Barrett. I am a senior, and it's my first year as a choir student. Lift Thine Eyes by is a beautiful song written by F Felix Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn was a German composer and pianist during the early Romantic periods. Lift Thine Eyes is an a cappella and piece. I enjoy this song because of how well the notes and the songs harmonize with each other. We sound unified at the same time. We sing different and unique rhythms and harmonies. I enjoy Lift Thine Eyes to the Mountains by Felix Mendelssohn.
Hello, my name is Montra Sainz. I'm in 11th grade, and this is my second year in choir. Still I Rise was composed by Rosethane Powell and commissioned by Vox Femina to perform at ACDA convention in 2005. This song was inspired by Laureate Maya Angelou's poem as a woman's anthem, acknowledging the strength women carry throughout life's difficulties of society, terrible situations, and low self-esteem. And to overcome those problems with your head held high and continually getting back up no matter what happens. This song carries and gives one strength, which is what I enjoy about. Tonight, Emily Brown, Scarlett Becker, Gloria Gwentner, and, and Carly Michelle Smart will be leading us through the song as they powerfully sing each of their solo. Sweet. 
I've got a pretty fun job, I gotta say. I get to listen to these ladies and all these choirs sing all day long. It's a blessing for sure. Don't they sound great? I think they're great. I think they're great. Good job, ladies. Uh, we're gonna have another duet. This is gonna be Joely. Say it. Fa'apuli, right? Fa'apuli. Fa'apuli. I should have asked her beforehand. I'm sorry to the family. It's okay. I'm really, I really mean that. Sorry. Uh, and Gloria Gwentner, uh, accompanied by Andrew Price on guitar and myself on piano. This is Goodness of God. fails me and all my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up till I lay in my head oh, I will sing of the goodness of God all my life you have been faithful have been so, so good. Every breath that I am made for, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. Father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. Because all my life you have been faithful, all my life you have been so, so good.
Wonderful. Please welcome the Madrigals to the stage. Hi, my name is Callie Schrock. I'm a senior, and this is my fourth year in choir. Our first song is a traditional Latin piece created by Brazilian composer Hernani Aguilar. He is widely known for his fiery choral pieces, such as Salmo 150. Derived from Psalm 150, this rhythmic song praises God for music. Psalm 150 is the last chapter of the Psalms, and is a short yet familiar one. Part of it reads, Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We are so blessed to be singing for God and praising him with our musical abilities. We hope you enjoy Psalm 150. and I'm a junior. This is my first year in choir at Valley. Our next song is Come Sweet Death. It is a contemplative and deep song composed by Bach. The lyrics are powerful and, dis and discuss how as Christians, death is not scary, but in many ways, it is something we long for. The harmonies throughout the piece sound beautiful, and at the same time, they convey the exhaustion of life. At the end, each member of the choir sings through the piece at their own pace. This section of the song clashes and sounds like everyone is individually going through the struggles and burdens of life. Finally, the last note resolves and the song feels complete. When listening to Come Sweet Death, think about how tiring and overwhelming life can become, but do not remain in this sadness. Remember that those in Christ have nothing to fear in death because through Jesus we have eternal life.
Hello, my name is Austin Tonse. I'm a senior, and this is my second year in choir. Cal Peterson, a Minneapolis-based composer, collaborated with the University of Pretoria Youth Choir to create Heartbeat, a heartfelt yet upbeat song. Midway through, you'll notice a shift in both rhythm and language as we sing a gospel drive section in Shona, a primary language of Zimbabwe. Peterson's goal is to convey a message of unity, reminding us that despite our differences, we are all equal and human. Interestingly, heartbeats often synchronize while singing, a fitting metaphor for this song's theme. Featuring Henry Blechner on the djembe, we hope you enjoy our choir's final piece, Heartbeat.
At this time, we're getting close to the end of the program, um, and we'd like to take a minute to uh, pass an offering around. Uh, any donation you might feel led to give um, would be welcome. So no obligation, of course, uh, but should you feel led, there'll be some offering plates passed along. As we hear uh, a soloist, this is going to be Bella Warners singing King of Kings, accompanied by Copper Abbott and Andrew Price. It's about that time. I did forget to mention, in case you are feeling led to give, but you didn't happen to have cash or check, uh, we do have a QR code on the program, so you can't get away that easy. Uh, uh, but in all honesty, there is one on there if you do feel like you'd like to give and you didn't have cash on you. You can do that uh, digitally on the back of the program. Uh, I'm going to ask the choirs to make their way up quietly uh, as I give a few acknowledgments, and we're going to sing one last song combined together. 
Uh, but before I do that, I'd like to read these. Where they go? Yes. I'd like to thank Troy Stahl, our superintendent, Mr. Chris Becker, our high school principal, Laura Pfeiffer, assistant principal, uh, also just the VCS board of directors for all of their support of what we're doing in the arts here at Valley Christian. Of course, couldn't happen without their unfailing support, so we're thankful for them. Can we give all the Valley staff a hand? Also, um, Mr. Peter Goodhart, former director and vocal coach for our students. By the way, if your student is looking for uh, someone to take voice lessons with, Mr. Goodhart offers just an amazing rate and he teaches right on campus after school hours. So uh, be sure to shoot me an email and I'll be happy to share his information with you. Um, also, Cy Neal, he's our amazing videographer who always records multi-angles, takes however many hours it might take to edit them all together, and then he pushes, pushes it out on YouTube for all of us to share and enjoy later and have a memento of the night. So thank you, Cy, for your time. I'd like to thank a uh, special thank you to Aubrey Wilkinson uh, for our concert attire. She took a lot of time to help uh, get us fitted and ordering dresses and everything. So thank you, Aubrey. Um, another shout out to Tracy Sturm. She's our lead parent volunteer. You've probably heard from her by now. And all the parent volunteers, thank you. Thank you. Um, of course, I want to thank Bell One uh, for hosting us tonight. They're so gracious to let us use their space and they're just really generous with their time and resources to have us do this. So thank you to Bell One and all the time they put in. Um, and this goes without saying, but we have one of the most amazing accompanists you can find, if you haven't noticed. Um, and this is Catherine McKenna. Yeah, she's truly wonderful. Thank you, Catherine, for all your dedication. Okay, well, with that, we have one final song for you tonight. I um, hope you enjoy it, and I'm going to let Bella explain what we're going to sing. My name is Bella Warners, and I'm a senior at Valley. This is my fourth year in choir. Hallelujah, You're Worthy to be Praised is my favorite song we have sung this year. To me, this song is an example of the truth that we are so, so blessed, and we need to praise Jesus for all he has done for us. I like how it's an all-choir song, because it shows that although we are in different choirs, we are all unified through our faith in Jesus Christ. My favorite line is, I lift my hands, I praise you, Lord, because we are all lifting our hands and reaching out to Jesus. Yeah. 
everybody stand up for me, come on. Let's end this concert the right way. We're gonna give the Lord some praise today. Clap along with us, let's sing to the Lord. Come on now. He's worthy of all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. He's worthy, come on. Let's give him some glory today. Hey, uh, I'm not going to say much. That was just this way we wanted it. Let's just, real quick, let me just say to you guys real quick, thank you so much for sharing with us. It is such a beautiful, beautiful gift to see, um, yeah, you guys make something beautiful with your voices and share with us. Um, because I think, one thing, uh, the most beautiful language God gave us is love, right? Uh, maybe the second is beauty, right? Um, it's a powerful language, so please keep making the world beautiful with your voices. So hey, uh, one more big round of applause for our choir. Hey, a um, couple of quick thank yous, and then I'd love just for us all to, to say a word of thanks to God as we leave. Uh, super important, I want to thank you guys, your parents. Uh, I am just floored every time I come to concerts, I come to games, I come to robotics, because uh, I see these students in all those places. Uh, so I just want to thank you, parents, for your commitment to this journey, uh, that here, uh, we're here to educate the whole kid, and you guys have been on the journey with us. So thank you for partnering with the arts. Um, with these students letting them be here. Um, and then we're going to see some of these guys on the field this week. Uh, we're going to see some of these gals on the court this week. Uh, so thank you for your commitment, parents, to all the work uh, to get them here. So hey, let's thank our parents uh, for their hard work. All right, and I swear, just two more. Um, let's just thank Miss Kim again, because she's awesome. Thank you, Miss Kim. <laughs> Uh, if you guys don't know it, um, she is such a gift to our students, and you can tell by the way they treat her. So we are so blessed to have you, Miss Kim. And then finally, Dan, uh, it's such a joy, man. It's so cool to see you. Uh, you're, that's like element of joy to your work this year, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's awesome. And it's just spreading. I love it, dude. So thank you for your hard work. Um, and Hey, and seriously, last thing, I swear. Uh, thank you for giving us a program that highlights the power of music to unite. Like, you took us to Zimbabwe, Brazil, um, all over the place, Germany, and just, we heard that from everything you kids said, is there's, there's the power of music to unite um, across so many boundaries and diversity. So thanks, man. It's a beautiful program. So, hey, uh, pray with me real quick. Just thanks to Andy. We'll say thank you to God, uh, and then we'll get on our way. Uh, Heavenly Father, we are just filled with gratitude collectively for 
uh, the wonderful beauty you've given us in this world. Uh, we thank you for moments like tonight when we get to see the heights of your beauty in your creation. Uh, thank you for the gift of music. Uh, thank you for the power of many voices together. Um, thank you that this, yeah, is just a wonderful gift. We're so grateful that we um, enjoy this so well and so deep. Um, help us to make good on these blessings. Help us to share them with those that don't have them. Uh, bless each one of us as we go our ways. Um, yeah, we are so thankful. And we pray all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, peace. Peace.